Hi, I'm Reed Kirkenbauer with InvestAsian.com, and you're watching Nomad Capitalist. Vietnam is one of the world's fastest growing economies, and from stocks to real estate to starting a business, there are many different ways to invest in the country. Here I'll talk about some of the potential in Vietnam and the ways you can go about investing there. Before I talk about the ways you can invest in Vietnam, I'd like to go into a bit of the country's backstory and why it's seeing such immense growth. A lot of capital is moving out of China, with lockdowns and travel restrictions and simply things getting more expensive up in China. Prices for labor, electricity, utilities just are way more expensive than they were 10, 20 years ago. And because of that, a lot of capital is moving out of China towards countries in the region and all over the world. But Vietnam is possibly the country that will benefit most from capital outflow from China, simply because it shares a border with China. So it's easier to move existing supply chains and relocate headquarters and simply uh, move everything from China to Vietnam. It's very easy to do that because they share a border as opposed to, say, moving from China to Mexico. And unlike a lot of countries in East Asia, such as Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam very much has demographics on its side. It has a young average age of 32 years old and a lot of people moving from rural areas into the city. So because of that, there naturally is an increased demand for goods and services and real estate. Vietnam has two large cities, Ho Chi Minh City in the south and Hanoi in the north, which is the nation's capital. Each of them has a population of about 10 million people. Besides that, you have Da Nang, which is the beachfront area, uh, most popular beach area in Vietnam, and there's a lot of investment flowing there as well. So because of Vietnam's strong demographic trends, capital outflow from China, and the wide variety of options available to investors from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City to Da Nang, there's a lot of potential in Vietnam. Now, there are a few different ways you can invest in the country. Stocks, real estate, and starting a business. The last of those, starting a business, is certainly uh, the most difficult. And that's the case pretty much anywhere. If you want a passive investment, unless you have somebody who's willing to run the business for you, then you probably don't want to fly to Vietnam, set up a company, hire employees, and either oversee it yourself or find someone to do so. That's a lot of effort. But with that said, because of all of the factors that I was mentioning earlier, there is a lot of potential in that. It's just very labor intensive and is not the easiest way to go about things. If you want to buy property in Vietnam, I should note that you can only own real estate on a leasehold basis in Vietnam. This is true whether you're a foreigner or a Vietnamese local. All land is technically owned by the state and leaseholds are on a period for 70 years. Now with all things being equal, you should always buy freehold property whenever possible. And that's just because leasehold property is on a countdown to zero. Um, if you buy a property, for example, leasehold title, when it has 70 years on it and you want to resell it 40 years later, then it'll have 30 years on it, that's going to be accounted for in the sales price. And when you have the entire world to choose from and other countries nearby in Asia, such as Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, all which allow in some form, whether condos or only or otherwise, um, freehold ownership, then I see no reason to restrict yourself to a leasehold title. Some people, they want to uh, buy property with the intent of maybe selling it 20, 30 years later and possibly taking some capital appreciation from that. I just don't think it's necessary with all the other options available in the region. There's some amount of opportunity cost. And that leaves us with buying stocks in Vietnam, which I think is one of the best ways to invest in the country. If you want to buy stocks in Vietnam, then it's not going to be easy to do so from a brokerage account based in the US or Europe. You're going to need to set up a brokerage account in Singapore or Hong Kong, or even Vietnam directly, somewhere in Asia, if you want to invest in the stock market directly. With that said, there are ETFs that you can buy in the US and the UK. Two of the largest are the Vanek Vectors ETF in, listed in the US, which is under the ticker symbol VNM. That's one of the largest Vietnamese ETFs. And the other is in the UK, ticker symbol VEIL, Vietnam Enterprises Investments Limited. So those are the two Vietnamese ETFs, 
which are located outside of the country. And if you don't have a brokerage account in Asia and don't want to bother with the hassle of traveling to Vietnam, setting up a brokerage account and all of that, an ETF is probably the easiest way to do so. You might not have the same return or uh, ability to select specific investments compared to buying individual stocks in Vietnam, but it's certainly a hands-off and simple way to invest in the country. And unlike starting a business, which is even more difficult, or buying property, which can only be done on a leasehold, I think those are the two best ways to invest in Vietnam if you uh, don't have offshore accounts in Singapore or wherever set up. So because of Vietnam's strong demographic trends, capital outflow from China, and foreign investment really not from not only China but all over the world flowing into Vietnam because of its booming manufacturing sector, the country truly is a great place to invest.